What's up guys, welcome back to our classic zombies game series where we go back and play all the zombies games and maps that I've missed out on throughout the years. And in our last video, we held a vote in our Discord for what map you guys wanted to see me play next. So today, we're gonna be playing Blood of the Dead for the very first time. And if you wanna get on these votes, make sure you join the Discord. The link to it should be in the description below. Okay, I, I wish I could show you guys these cutscenes, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna get copyrighted every time. But when I saw that this was gonna be on Mob or some variation of Mob, I, I got hyped. Uh, Mob's one of my favorite maps that I've ever played and now we're, we're back at it just at a different part of it but i have heard that this is one of the more difficult maps here in bo4 like this is one of the hardest maps to do so uh, i'm a little scared but hopefully uh we can move past that like hopefully my my love of mob can carry me oh is the other crew in here this is so crazy i got no idea what's going on why are all these guys iced up oh and what happened to my thing the the perks and everything i chose aren't what i have in here all right well that's unfortunate actually i'm gonna reset real quick so i can get my stuff oh Oh, there's a chaos story and an aether story. So I got to switch these out. Okay. This is so weird. I didn't know there's a whole different class thing I had to make. Oh, and we get a new special weapon. Okay. I'm glad I, I backed out. Should I just use the Ragnaroks? The sword looks fun. Same with like a death machine. I'm going to use the Ragnaroks. Okay. Okay. Now we're back in game with all of our right stuff. All right. We've cleared out two rounds and we leveled up. So time to move out. So can I get back to the OG mob? Because if my rebirth knowledge treats me right, the actual person's all the way up there. Is this just all just going to be another part of the island? Join us. Okay. Can we buy this door? Or do we need power? Yeah, we need power. Okay. So I guess we're going down here. Is this power? Oh, that's easy. It says lights out though. Oh, here's box. Box looks the same as mobs. You know, let's hit the box one time for the one time. What gun we got? The swordfish. Never heard of this before in my life. Ooh, double points. Kind of shredding though. Even though it's only round four. What is this? Oh, that's where our first perk is. I like these perk machines. All right, let's grab one. Quick dying wish with the bottle. No more inhalant. Why? Why are all the zombies come rushing in here? I thought the round was almost over. Okay. So they don't like that alarm, apparently. There's a whole lot going on. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Oh, it's like hell over here. What? Is that Brutus? This is kind of crazy. Hold on. Activate my elixir. They melee me. They're dead. What is going on? There's so much. Oh, I can't go that way. I'm dead. Keep running. I'm actually running for my life. Oh, wait. Let's use these. Oh, let's go. All right. Now we're back at spawn. Are the blueprints and everything still up? No, there's no way out. The checklist is still here. That's cool. Not dead, not alive. Uh-oh. I'm hyped. I wonder if we're gonna have to use afterlife for power. The afterlife thing's here, but it doesn't look like we can use it. Is the acid gat on here too? I'm not seeing the part over here. What about the hellhound? Is he here? Looks like the insignia's there. Well, I guess we're gonna have to try to feed it with a zombie and not a hound. Is electric cherry still up here? The machine's gone, but the power thing's still here. All the, the things for afterlife is here, but... It's doesn't look like we have to use it. And we can go to the docks, but it needs power. Yeah, this is busted. I actually like the swordfish. This is a pretty good gun. Oh, the dog is here. All right, well, let's fill it up. I wonder if it eats faster in this game. Oh, no, Brutus is here. Brutus, stay back. We don't need that. Do I need power for this door, too? Yep. Oh, Brutus, don't count towards the round count. Ooh, stay back, buddy. Night, night. Oh, wait, he had a part on him? Oh, the key. Is that the warden's key? Okay, anything over here? There's a power up there that we could shock, but if we could... I'm so confused on how this map works without afterlife. Well, it still has everything to do with afterlife on it. All right, we might just need to head down this way. I'm out of ammo. We might have to ditch the swordfish. Okay, no perk machine down here. It's not looking like. Let's go through here. Um, We're down by the dock area now. No, actually, we're in laundry. Jeez. I've not played this map in a minute. I'm picking up whatever this is. All right, maybe we can go through here. Nope, I need power for this. Great. Stock option. We're going to need it. Double points, also gonna help. All right, we have one zombie left. Now it's time to figure some stuff out. What about the laundry machine? Can we still do that over here? Warden's house. Okay. So you need to activate power for that. This is an interesting take on like a, a remake because it's all built around that whole afterlife mechanic and now that they don't have it, they're they're switching it up a bit. Let's see if we can find where to turn on the east power, I was saying. Can we use the warden's key on that? We can. So all this stuff opens, but for what? There's gotta be some way to use afterlife, right? That's filled in. This power's this way. So let's go. Oh, they still got the Tommy gun wall by down here. Let's go. Can't go in there anymore. Oh, and the tower has fallen. No more camp spot. Can we go over here now? We can. This is open. Very dark. No one escapes alive. This is creepy. Let's turn on that power. Oh, what's up, Brutus? How's it going, bucko? 
Oh, found a shield part. Let's go. This looks like it's opened up unless that's just a zombie spawn and I'm an idiot. Oh, now we can use that? Or that's just a part. An afterlife part. Oh, accidentally end of the round. There's another power up here that we can't grab. I feel like the wonder weapons got to use those volt things. Because we have three items, the warden's key, a door, and some sort of like afterlife in a bottle. There's the golden spoon back here. Okay, I'm very low on ammo. I got to switch out the swordfish. Sorry, swordfish. We're using the ICR now. Can we go upstairs now? We can. I wonder if pack punch is the same. Like we have to go to the golden gate. We can still open this up and get... Is this part for the S gat? Oh, we got blood wolf bite over here. Where Deadshot used to be. Oh, the no one escapes alive thing from the bridge is over here. Our runway is gone. And we can't really train up here either. I wonder if there's still the jump scare with the scope. I can't wait to watch a guide on this map, actually. Oh, is this dog still not full? All right, well, we're going to have to feed him a little later. Let's go check out Wardens. Oh, we can open this up. Any parts in here? Yep. Okay, so we have two of three parts for something. What? Warden's house? He has a house now? Good shit, Warden. Getting a pay raise. We're all getting benefits. We should try to find a buildable table. I think they're all in the same spot. Or at least they should be. Can I build anything here? Craft special shield. Oh, let's go. Spectral shield. Oh, you think this is what we use? It has the, the logo on it. Let's try this. I can go into afterlife with it. I don't know. I don't know how to use this thing. Okay. I can, I can suck the soul out of them. Now that I have that energy, can I shock this? If I put it in here? If I melee with it? Nope. Is that just there to tease me? All right, let's try to go to the warden's house. Let's go see where he's living now. Get out of the way, debris. Oh, there's another wolf here that we can fill up. Oh, there we go. Blood wolf bite. Get him. Wolf helping wolf. There we go. We got that one finished. We need one more part for whatever this other buildable is. We had to have like missed it. Is there the hell's retriever on this too? No, 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 no. Anywhere but here. I'm gone. Woo. Barely surviving out here. Okay, where am I at? Oh, I'm down by docks. Let's just keep going this way. There's another perk location, I think. We head on over here. This is where Jug used to be. Let's go. That time slip. All right, now that we've somewhat recovered from uh, almost getting absolutely clapped, let's try to head back to the warden's house and see what's going on over there. Where do I go from here? Oh, I go in here. Probably into the house. I feel like our last item's got to be in here. What's upstairs? You hide anything up here? Nope. There's probably a place to sit and grind. Is there really nothing here? There's got to be some use for the shield I'm not seeing either. Let's retrace our steps a little bit. Maybe we didn't explore everything over by our spawn area. Now we're back in hell. We kind of had to just run through here. Didn't get a chance to look around really. Oh, I don't like this area. I don't like it at all. There's so much going on. I'm running for my life. Were those the only two places I could go was over here by power and up the ramp where there's 18 million zombies? Oh, I didn't go in here. What's down here? A fast travel? the cafeteria oh are we back in the lab no oh here's another wolf might as well get to feeding them uh oh brutus is back come on brutus you want to help me fill up this hellhound i'll have luna come help me too come here brutus you little bitch oh he's got a lot of health actually even when i'm hitting him in the dome there we go okay all of our hellhounds are filled up now thanks luna all right where's that cafeteria fast travel i think we passed it oh it's right there we're gonna take that and go get some ammo for our icr Ooh, okay I didn't know there was a train system or, or a, a mine underneath Alcatraz. Okay, now that we have all these, what do we do? Throw a nade down there? Oh, there's our Hell's Retriever. I see it. Do we need to use the shield to get it? Okay, we're gonna have to wait till there's less zombies to try to figure this out. Okay, we just hit our nuke. Let's try to run there and see what we can do. I'm gonna try to get it with the shield. Come here, Hell's Retriever. How do I get you? Did I throw a nade down there? Nope. I shoot you? How do I retrieve you? Come on, dude. Now I'm at the point where I'm lost. I'm gonna have to hit the box. I'm low on ammo for both my guns. Sorry, Maddox, but you're getting swapped out. Give me the acid gat. Oh, okay. Raygun Mark III, that works too. All right, well, I think I made it far enough in our first run here. I'm gonna go ahead and watch a guide and see if I can figure out the rest or at least uh, do the rest here in this single game instead of restarting from nothing. So I'll be right back. All right, so I just watched a 40 minute guide on this map and what to do, where to go. And I was actually pretty close on a lot of my guesses. So we do end up using the shield to use a lot of the afterlife stuff here. And this area isn't completely useless. We can upgrade our acid gat here into a magma gat, which we will do. And we will get our acid gat. But if we take this fast travel from, from Warden's house all the way to showers, we'll go right past our Hell's Retriever that we were by. So right here, let's grab it. There we go. And now that we're over here... I can find my way back to spawn. There is an acid gat part that we missed. So I can take this fast travel here. And once we pop out, it should be right over here. There it is. Got it. So now we got everything for the acid gat. But for us to get the free acid gat, we have to go ahead and throw our Hell's Retriever at a few skulls. Try looking at it with our shield vision. 
Of course, we gotta get these zombies out of our way. And we need to start charging up our shield, too. Yep, it's right there. So let's throw this. Did it grab it? I don't think it grabbed it. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. Okay, we just got a fresh shield. Ours was broken. But now if we come over here, pretty sure there's one in this toilet that we need. There we go. We can head up here to the roof and go ahead and throw it at this box. There we go. That's another skull. Also, this is where we get pack a punch. We do have to shock that on, but I need to charge up my shield first. Now we can grab this skull over here if we can make it. Nope. Can I grab it from this side? That's probably easier. Did I get it? I might have. Let's check the shield and make sure. Yeah, it's not up there. I think our last one is down by the dock. And it should be right over here. Yep. There we go. Did I miss it? Nope, grabbed it. I think that's all of them. I could be missing one, though. Do we have it at the table now? We do. Let's go. Sorry, ICR. Gonna have to get rid of you. There is our Blunder Gat. So we got the Blunder Cat and the Ray, Ray Gun Mark II. We're kind of set up here. Now, there's another buildable table down by the dock, so I'm gonna go use that. We'll turn this thing into the Acid Gat real quick. Oh, our round just ended. For why, though? Why did it do that to us? All right, let's try to do this fast, then. Let's craft the Acid Gat kit. Let's throw our Acid Gat in. Go ahead. Fuel it up. There we go. Quick acid gat. Okay, now there's also like a spork we can get. The golden spork. First, we need to get a spoon. And to get that, we need to use our shield like life suck ability. All right, now that we got our acid gat though, let's go try to get our magma gat. Let's make our way back to Warden's. All right, Warden's house. Time to be useful again. Let me go ahead and throw this in the fireplace. And then we can kind of make it out of here with our ray gun mark too. I'm sure this is fine. Let's just try to make sure that we're leaving a zombie while also finishing the challenge. Uh-oh. The round ended and we didn't finish it. Oh, we got a dog round. This is perfect. We can charge up our shield with the pups. Come here. Yeah. Get this thing charged up in no time. There we go. Keep it moving. Oh, quick max ammo. Don't mind if I do. But once we finish getting this thing done, uh, we got to make sure that we only have like one or two zombies left in the round because we have to run from this side of the map all the way to the other. It's going to have a flame on it and we can't let that flame go out. So there's going to be specific little uh, like barrels that are on fire that we need to go to to keep the thing afloat. Uh oh, we got to keep ourselves afloat. Ooh, dying wish. Please help me. Please save me. Be a crutch. Let's use our... our... <laughs> I have no idea how I'm still alive. I I'm panicking. We made it through with our field upgrade, though. Oh, no. Very not good. And we're down. We still finished our little challenge, though, which is good. Are these our last zombies in the round? I think they might be. All right, now we're good to go ahead and do this acid gat thing. Or our magma gat. So let's put our, our souls in. Deposit them. We'll come back around. We'll grab our tempered acid gat. Oh, my God. Please, no. Did I just get rid of the fire from shooting it? No, but the round ended, so that's not good. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's one fire. We can do this. We can make it through. We're big boys. There's another fire here. We gotta keep it burning. It's like the Olympic torch in the nerdiest way possible. We'll go this way. Drop down. Get him out of here. Keep it going. I hope shooting it doesn't affect it at all. But this area is what I'm worried about. So we'll keep running through here. Shoot that guy. We'll grab some more. No! Stop it! Running for my life. And I'm knocked again? Oh no, I think our fire is gone. Oh, we missed our opportunity to get the, the magma gat. Please! Get me up, get me up now! Oh yeah, we lost it. That sucks. That might have been our only opportunity to get it. I don't know if they allow retries. Alright, well at least we know how to do everything if we do have to restart it. So I will get the magma gat today. Do we get another chance at it? Oh yeah, we can redo it. Okay. So I'll do it when I have more ammo for my mark two or at least attempt to okay, it's getting pretty tough we're on round 20 right now we don't even have pack a punch i'm gonna go get this thing pack a punched actually that's probably a smart idea there we go hit the spirit blast on him oh, i'm dead again i'm asleep unless i can survive this you know what and with the field upgrade oh the nuke perfect oh that's clutch all right acid gat get pack a punched fuck him up luna give me that all right, we got our acid gat all, all powered up. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. So many zombies. You guys stop hitting me, please. Get on the acid gat. Okay, I'm pack-a-punching the, the Mark II. We're gonna have both of these packed. Come here. Ooh. Oh my lanta. Everybody back up for a second. Everybody just chill the fuck out. All right, stamina up is back. Oh wait, I have to undo it. Now stamina up's back. Yeah, the machine shut off. Oh, shit, my fucking asshole. 
I'm an idiot. I just walked right into a corner. All right, I'm going to restart this. And now that we know what to do, uh, I'll see you guys once we get the acid gap back and we're going to upgrade it. All right, we're on our new game here. And while I'm setting up, I figured I might as well just get the spoon while we're here. So we need eight, five, and two. So let's go back to the Citadel stairs. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So if we go ahead and we blast this and go ahead and set this to eight, five, and two. Yep, we got the numbers right. This cage should fall. Go ahead and come down. There we go. It'll fall like that. He's holding the spoon. And then he's going to go ahead and fall in the water. So once we get to our house retriever, we're going to be able to come back over here towards the docks. You know, once we get this door open and everything, and we'll be able to grab that. So we'll get that when we get our house retriever. So I'm going to work on doing that and getting our acid gap back. And I'll see you guys when we do. All right, we have our house retriever. So now we can do this step. So let's go ahead, shock this on. Can I do it? There we go. We'll throw our house retriever at that skull there. Grab that while we're here. And now this little net coming out of the water is going to come over here. Lots of come in that sentence. Don't take that one out of context. And then if we just throw that there, it'll knock down our spoon. We accidentally killed our zombie, but that's fine. Because now we have our nice little spoon. I just want to show us getting that. But now we're going to need the blunder gat to do everything else. So now I'm going to go get that blunder gat. We got our acid gat back. Now what we got to do is put our little spoon in this tub. There we go. Have a good time, Spoon. But now we need to get like 20 something kills on the roof. And when we do, all the blood will drip down into this little bathtub and we'll be able to upgrade it that way. A little weird uh, upgrade process, but having an acid gap on round six ain't bad. And that little spoon, once we get it fully upgraded, I think it one shots until like round 30 something is what I was uh, seeing in the guide. We've been through a whole normal round and a dog round. Is this filled up yet? No, we still need a little bit more. You know what? This spoon's actually taking way too long to do. And all we're going to do is make it more difficult on ourselves to upgrade this thing later. I want to get the magma gap. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the furnace like right now. Okay, I think we got it done. So let's deposit the essence. We'll grab it. All right, now we have the, the temper, tempered blunder gap. Put it in the fire. Okay, we got this. There's going to be another one pretty close to here. Yep. Got to keep running. There you go this way. We're gonna have to have this open up. Please open fast. There we go. There's another one. All right, we're making it. Hopefully we don't get downed over here again. There's another fire. Perfect. We're doing it. We're making it. There's gonna be another one over here to our left right when we get out. Yep, there we go. And I'm pretty sure it's down this way. We just gotta temper it one more time. Where's the press? Here's the press. Let's put it on there. Let's go. I think we did it. Our little ethereal ghost is going to go ahead and press it for us. Thanks for the help, fellas. And I'll be taking that. Let's go. We got the magma gat. Oh, and we get to test it on Brutus. Yeah, go ahead. Hit that mystery box. Eat it, Brutus. Eat an ICR, too, while you're at it. Oh, he's actually just eating it. He's just sponging these bullets. There we go. Okay, let's unlock that. But we did it. We got the, we got the magma gat. Let's go. Now we just need to get this thing pack a punch. But we'll do that after we finish this challenge real quick. All right. There's no way we're not done with this yet. Did we grab it? Oh, we got to drain it. Now is it gold? I think we might have it. No, that looks like a knife. What happened? Did we fuck that up? Or do we need to use our hell's retriever to get it now? I don't remember. I'm looking at the guide. Okay. Now it's saying we need to go back to the catwalk and we throw our hell's retriever underneath the water tower. But in it, they're saying there might be a patch to where we have to, like, completely knock the water tower over by shooting its hinges. Which I don't know how to do, and it's not showing in the guides. So hopefully it's actually just right there under the water tower, and I just got a Hell's Retriever it. That'll make this a lot easier. Alright, moment of truth. Is it over here? Uh, I don't think so. Alright, well, I looked it up, and what I was looking at is outdated. Apparently it's been fixed since then. But there's some panels on the water tower that we need to shoot down with a pack a punch weapon so now i gotta get pack a punch uh i probably need to get on my magma gat and probably the icr i don't know if the magma gat will make it all the way there i just want to have it pack a punch because it's gonna be insanely powerful with it so we better start charging this thing up oh dog round perfect this is exactly what we need there we go easy max ammo we'll do one of these pull this out Turn on Pack-A-Punch. There you go. Thank you, boys. Thanks for crafting it for me. Let's Pack-A-Punch the ICR real quick. Ooh, this pack camo looks crazy. How you liking it, Brutus? You enjoying it? Yeah, I think he likes it. Just wait till I get this Magma Gat Pack-A-Punch, Brutus. You'll like it even more. And okay, now we're getting it Pack-A-Punch. Bring it here. We now have our Pack-A-Punched Magma Gat. This thing looks sick. This thing's beautiful. 
Now there's panels. There's one panel. We got to find another one without getting hit. All right, let's see if we can find another panel. I'm not seeing one. Oh, there it is. I think I shot it off. Okay. And I think we can probably see the other two from the catwalk. So let's try to make our way there. All right. Zombie out of the way. Both of you. You can leave as well. That's just an arm. Okay. Panel right there and right there. So it should be falling over now. Oh, it is falling. If the zombies would let me watch dickheads. Yep. It's falling over. Let's throw that in there. There we go. We got our spoon, baby. Our golden spork. I think we got just about everything besides our upgraded Hell's Retriever. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade it. Seems like kind of a lengthy process. Actually, there's one more thing we can do besides the Hell's Retriever. Uh oh, lots of zombies. You guys can kindly fuck off. That'd be great. But if we make our way back to the box, we can hit it until we get a padlock. And once we get that padlock, we got to shock it with our shield and then grab it with our Hell's Retriever and that'll upgrade our shield. So I'm going to try to do that. All right, we got one zombie left in this round. Now's a better time than any to try this. We got to hit the box, then pull out the shield just in case. I see a padlock. I'm hitting it. Nope. Pretty sure the padlock's just like the, the bear popping up. Like we just need to spin it enough times for it to move. Oh, we got the ray gun. Okay, I'll take that over the ICR. Why not? There it is. Shock it. It changed colors. Grab it. Let's go. Now we got our shield upgraded. All right, what do now? All right, I looked up the Hell's Redeemer thing, and apparently I got a bunch of kills with the Hell's Retriever on the catwalk. And I think we're kind of too late into a round to do that or into this game. I mean, we could possibly try, but I know for sure I'm going to go down, and I don't want to die before round 20. So I think instead... I'm just going to try to train in here and see how high of a round we can get to. So I think so far our highest round that we've gotten to is round 40 on 9. So maybe we can beat that here. This is definitely a harder map than 9 though. But with this Magma Gat, it's kind of insane. I got to get the sword all the way up to 3. I think what the dude was saying in the guide is that if you get the sword up to like level 3, when you activate it, it's kind of like how Aether Shroud works in uh, Cold War where the zombies just can't even see you. Let's see if the one hit knife works. It do? Oh no. Gotta bring out the sword. I don't think this kills Brutus very well, but might as well use it on him. Oh, we killed one and another one immediately spawned. How's that fair? Oh, why don't I just grab a full power while I still got my sword out, sword out then, Brutus? I may not be able to speak, but I can kick your ass. Never mind. He's actually still actively kicking mine. Brutus, if you keep taking more ray gun shots. There we go. About time. Thanks for the max ammo though, idiot. All right, what does this trap do over here? Let's try it out. Activate the trap. Oh, blades just start spinning over here. That's fun. Just gotta remember not to run into those. I gotta find a way to train the zombies into that safely to where I'm not getting just demolished by them. Oh, I can activate the trap from over here. So what I can do is train over here a little bit, try to get the zombies in the trap that I can. And then the ones that aren't, I can kind of just loop right here and then take them out with uh, a nice magma Got shot right there. Round 30, baby. 10 more to go to break our record. Now, if I stand right here by the trap, do the dumbasses just run right into it? I think so. So if I have this trap active, I can just sit here. And then when it's not, I just train and then shoot the magma gat. Okay. Seems easy enough to me. What makes him want to do that? He's running right at me and then he just goes, yep, I choose death. I don't think Brutus falls for the trap, though. I'm not going to lie. I think he's a little smarter than that. Actually, no, he's shutting down our trap. He's even more smart than I could ever fathom. He's got the plays. And now he's dead. So who's the real genius here? Actually, no, he's not. Now he's dead. And there's another one of them. Why are there so many of you? Oh, that's the Aether Shroud type thing they were talking about. Okay. Why are there so many of you? Always. Whenever one spawns, it's like 10 of you spawn. You ever tried just not spawning? And going away and fucking off and dying to a ray gun maybe please thank you i basically got this on afk mode i'm sitting here just letting the trap get the kills and if they don't get to the trap then luna's got them and then when the trap turns off all i'm doing is just doing a quick little train shooting down the magma gat and then it's just easy and if i do get in a tough situation i pull out the sword and i hit the fucking aether shroud on it like this is a brain dead map i say that but i'm about to go down Anytime I start getting cocky or talking shit, there's just immediate repercussions. But not today. We're one round away from round 40. All right. Trap's gone. Quick little train. I'll just show you guys real quick. Shoot that down right there. Maybe even two of them. All the zombies just getting cooked. Actually, we can probably just hit this. 
Okay, never mind. Some of them do come at me. If they're already chasing me before I hit the trap, then they still chase. And I'm down because I did nothing with my dying wish. I, I had to talk shit. I did. I really did. I'm an idiot. And if I go down one more time, the game's over. I went down real early in this game, like getting set up. I, got, I went down on the catwalk on the way over here. All right, well, we made it to round 40. <laughs> we're, we're tied right now for our personal best. Let's see if we can make it any further than this. But we are kind of in a bad spot. We're not at our usual training spot. Let's see if we can make it back down there. All right. We made it to our fast travel, easy. And we're back to our little area, hit our trap, and we're good to go. Oh, monkeys. I'll take that. Oh, does that get rid of my Hell's Retriever? No! Oh, well, I guess I wasn't really using it that much. I didn't know they were, they, they took that spot. Why is there, oh, I guess there's no tactical because you have your shield. That's all kinds of fucked up. Go, monkey. Does Brutus go to the monkey? Is he trying to beat the monkey up? Leave it alone. Oh my God, did he destroy it? I didn't know you could do that. That's not fair. Round 50, baby. We did it. We're halfway to 100. Don't know if I'm going to go for 100. I think I'm just going to call it off at 69. Round 69 is our round 100. I think I've got it down to where I need to shoot the, the magma gat like four times around maybe. So that's pretty good on ammo conservation. I could probably cut it down a little bit. But once this trap runs out, I'm showing, I'll show you what I've been doing or how I've kind of uh, ironed out the kinks in this strat. So the trap goes down. We go over here. Do a quick train this way, down this way, make sure all the zombies are out from spawning from that door. Then we make our way all the way back around, hit a quick one there. And now our trap is back, so we grab it, shoot another to get all the zombies off our back, and then we're done. So I can actually just do it in two, or at least two per trap use. Oh no, that's it. No! All right, well, we made it to around 51. That's not bad at all for like, what? Basically our first time playing the map all the way through knowing, having all the knowledge. Because our first run, we went in blind, made it far enough. We're like, all right, let's look at the guide. And then our second time through, when we actually knew where everything was at, how to get everything, we did pretty well. And I think if I don't go down way early game, and I kind of just like be more disciplined in my training and not like dick around, I could probably get to like, a pretty high round on this map using that strat but overall it was pretty fun it was really cool seeing mob again seeing it remastered uh it is a pretty difficult map you know to get set up and everything like there's a lot of tight corridors and that that catwalk area is just a place of nightmares but i like the map a lot so far i think bo4 has broken expectations for me because going into the game everyone was telling me how bad it was and how it's just like not an actual zombies game but i've been having fun with it uh, the only map I didn't really like that much so far is Voyage, but I like the theme of Voyage. So it's like, uh, I might not like the gameplay, but I like how it looks. Anyways, I'm talking too much. I've been playing for too long. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please consider subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. If you feel so inclined, head on over to my Twitter, drop me a follow. I mean a lot, but uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.